So now we get to meet the actual antagonists. By the way, welcome back to Onikin. Yeah, I was hoping we wouldn't stop at Geist. So, you thought Geist was silly. I don't think we've seen them this episode, actually. <laughs> Get ready for a doozer. <laughs> <laughs> I actually call this guy Dozer, just because it's it reminds me of Revenge of the Nerds. Hakan, too? Oh god, I love these names. Hack on. Apply it directly to hack. Yeah, that was a very Mega Man X2 sequence where you see the silhouette of the antagonist but don't know who they are. Wait, that's a son? You're not my father. <laughs> hey, daddy. <laughs> it's very much a son. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> 300 North Mountains. Yeah, there's a lot of mountains up north. It's really weird. He doesn't need a shirt in the snow. Oh, this is the point of the game where the developer's like, all right, fun's over. And then they just crack their knuckles because they're going to punch you in the mouth here. Okay, guys, I have an idea. We're going to make eagles that drop egg bombs. Oh, you think it's nothing, but those things will knock you into the fucking river and kill oh, you. Oh, no, they're, they're just like a million other enemies that have shown up in Mega Man games that do that shit. And they always hit you like when you're on really small platforms. Exactly, and I've replayed this stage like six times because of that. I'll just be walking along and then bam, my ass is in a cliff. And mainly, it doesn't seem like when enemies hit you that you get knocked back or flinch, so that's a nice benefit. Well, that's because I try not to get hit. I like his walk where he's like, oh, I got places to go, guys. <laughs> he walks like he has to take a bad shit, honestly. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, the constipation hole. <laughs> Oh, so much sword meter that we're not going to use properly this stage. By the way, there's the secret. Restroom. That is a reference to a cowboy game that they did. I believe it's on Joy Master's site free to download, but I haven't checked it out yet. I know there are two homages that are not available through their website. I think that turret looked like you were just saying, shoot, no, shoot, no. By the way, fuck that pit. I got shot by a Doom guy, which made me break through a wall, land on the landmine, and then get shot by a sniper. There goes my sword. Duh. Also, here's the best mini boss in the game. Yes! <laughs> Hug me! So, the gimmick of this is that on the motorcycle, you can't shoot backwards, so you have to throw your grenades. Luckily, the developers knew about this and just gave you infinite grenades, so if you want to get 99 grenades, this is the place to do it. Oh, wow. But this is a robot. Oh, no. <laughs> You've deceived me, you adorable bastard. The sound it makes makes me laugh so much. Oh, I didn't make it there. It does the same sound. There it was. <laughs> <laughs> and it's no! dead. No, poor baby. It's like an old Kraftwerk song. That's such a fun mini boss. I love it so much. You know, maybe he wouldn't walk like that if he wasn't wearing red hot pants. <laughs> I think he wouldn't walk like that if he wasn't carrying a sword that probably weighs like 40 pounds. It looks more like a slab of iron. Exactly! It is a little like back in middle school after we did PE. The teachers would just say, Okay kids, don't just stop running. Keep walking. Keep your energy going. This boss, you could only attack him at a specific time, and I picked the worst time to put on Berserk mode. Because I did no damage. Look at the guy inside who looks very frustrated. Just God push the buttons! Get up, Zaku! Just slamming his arms up and down on the control pin. It's DeLoco. It is. You don't even a chameleon! Hey! <laughs> DeLoco's dead. Just like DeLoco. He's more like a praying mantis. Hi, Rico. You did nothing. Cause. You don't deserve to be here. That stage took less than five minutes to beat. So we got Wolverine, Professor Xavier, and Cockroach. <laughs> oh, those opinions will change in a minute. Oh god, seizures. Here's the badass himself. He's gorgeous. Here's Hackman. Oh my god, it's Rao. <laughs> yup. And here's Dozer. 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 <laughs> 
Dozer reminds me of a dude in um, G.I. Joe, one of the antagonists I can never remember the name of. But we haven't seen the best villain yet, probably the one that makes me laugh so much. <laughs> I thought Zaku was a legend that was made up of a really bad manufacturing company. I had an action figure of him once. <laughs> I like Dozer. He's got a cool design. <laughs> he looks so happy. We have to remain calm while we're being eaten by robot skulls. Oh no! <laughs> this doesn't bother me. The skull never bothered me anyway. Oh. <laughs> Pretty sure Hakan was supposed to be designed after Violent Ken from Street Fighter. I read it as Hakan. I can't help it. Look at this guy. <laughs> this is the only frame he has. I don't know why, but his face makes me laugh so much. Okay, now I feel like I've actually activated the Crimson Bailet. Look at these guys. <laughs> Pretty much. Now this doesn't bother me much, guys. How we just have a cake social or something? <laughs> no, Grim. <laughs> I got, I brought, I have extra co oh, coffee in the break room. Oh, this is Fist of the North Star right here. <laughs> I feel like a guy shows up in a mohawk and just one boxing glove. <laughs> By the way, his name is Hey Hey. Hey, hey. Jesus. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Now, I mentioned before stage three was the developers cracking their knuckles. This is the stage where they hate you. But not this part. A later part. I actually like this part, because look at this background. This is the stage where they break their hands. So this is basically an auto-scroller, but you're just going through an entire band of bandits and killing them. And it's like a train robbery scene, obviously. Yeah. Right now, the uh, thing is, we're supposed to be taking on the Onuken Army's supply train, and we're being intercepted by Hei Hei's band of marauders. Here's a <laughs> chainsaw <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> One of my favorite enemies. He's normally a chump, but I sucked ass this playthrough. Gonna cut you with this thing! <laughs> chainsaw dancing in the house! Now this part is actually really hard if you don't memorize the sequence, because goddamn. Uh, Alright, Thorn, which character would you like to be drawn as? <laughs> Chainsaw Man, obviously. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and now we have Mace McGee. This guy's actually pretty hard, because he auto-tracks you. I thought that was a boxing glove for a minute. I got like, I was about to say, that it was our hit spark on the ball itself, even if it didn't move. Oh god, look at this guy. And now it's Hey Hey. Hey, hey could be tricky, because his pattern is somewhat dependent on you, but he only stabs in three specific places. Also, his kill animation is pretty funny. If it plays out right. Oh yeah. <laughs> it didn't play out right, unfortunately. If you kill Hey Hey on the left side of the screen, they actively have to go back to their positions to do that cutscene. <laughs> oh man, this place. Fuck this area so much. Ninja, eh. You hear that noise in the background? It's called music. That is the noise of pain. Because across the level, there's gonna be a laser that just goes across the entire field, and if you're not paying attention, it'll hit you, and then you will die. Because the hit won't kill you, it's the fact that the floor is entirely spikes. So getting back up, you'll lose half your health. What the hell? But it looks like it goes. To oh shit! <laughs> Hi, buddy. Glad to see you. <laughs> and then there's those assholes. You know, Robo Ninjas. Exactly. I guess there is a flinch that your character does when they get hit. Mm-hmm. NES game. Oh yes, you can fall in a hole. Oh yeah, I have fallen so many times. Ooh, I hate this area so much. Snake! No. <laughs> this boss would be easy if I had blade mode. It looks so happy. And I was really worried that I was gonna lose, but then I realized something really cheap about this boss. If I could just, you know, fucking get it right. You could easily grenade him and he won't do a <laughs> damn thing. Well, hey, you did pretty good then. Oh no, God. Your explosions are like hugs for my face. 
So right here I'm a little worried because I'm at two health, but I know if I get to a point I'll get a full health, so I was afraid that Ninja would kill me. Oh, I gotta take a shit. Oh. <laughs> I, that's what I was saying at that point. I thought I was about to crap my pants. There's something very pathetic about a ninja that can be destroyed by a grenade. Well, <laughs> grenades are pretty strong. Also, who's ready for elevator sequence? I thought the tree was getting cut in half and was just gonna fall over. <laughs> that would've been cool, too. And you need to still climb it. By the way, see that block? Don't get that box. That <laughs> box is a trap. You won't be able to get back in time. Challenge accepted. For a game I don't have, so I can't take it. <laughs> Somebody will probably prove me wrong and then I'll feel bad, but man, I do not get that box at all. It's such a fucking newbie trap. I wish you could fight the snake as a recurring enemy, but this time, just as an upgrade, they screw angry eyebrows onto it. <laughs> did you see what that sniper did? I blew its head off and it still shot me. Robot. Now here is the hardest boss in the game, in my opinion. Mainly because your sword can't hit it, so you're almost entirely dependent on grenades. In order to hit it with your sword, you gotta jump onto the sides of its arms and then get it. See, the power of movement goes through the stomach, you see. Oh yeah, I never noticed that. By the way, get ready for some of the best cutscenes in the game. <laughs> Even though he has like one frame. Controls aren't responding. You can't reach me, you're like five feet tall. Some legend. <laughs> You'd think if you'd watch a TV show, you could predict this, but Grim's kind of an idiot. Plus, he only has one frame. Yeah. So, what can he do? I like this music a lot. <laughs> Pause for a second. Oh, shit. Oh! Epilepsy warning. Punch him to death, please. Or jump on his skull. Oh, that works too. Yeah! He exploded his <laughs> fucking face. Punch him to death, awesome. Hi, Rico. What did you do again? God damn it. I watched. I don't <laughs> trust quiet. Oh man, that scene was fucking great. I love it so much. They played us like a damn fiddle. <laughs> played us like a damn fiddle. So back to the actual plot, Hakan and Zaku are actually rivals that studied under the same master, and Hakan killed their master. I forget, was it Rao or was it uh, the other guy that killed Kenshiro's master? Rao, I believe, was of the South Star, I believe. He had the motorcycle helmet and the shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember his name. Joggy. Joggy. Yeah, was Joggy. It. Or Jaggy. Hakan is supposed to be an homage to Rao, but there's a little bit of Joggy there, too. Well, both of them were dicks. Yeah, pretty much. So, how about the introduction and death of Grimm, the famous military silent and the mastermind of the Onikin army, death by fist? Clearly, one man's a legend, and he's proving it by punching a man's skull off. Next episode, pain. Rico just the entire time, yeah, yeah, we are diamond dogs. Just shut up, shut up, I need to fight something. <laughs> That's basically what Rico is. Just more limbs. <laughs>